Hello, Wastelanders! Today I'm going to go on a run to the Wilson Automatoys factory. That place is a bonanza of gears, screws, and springs, which you will need a lot of if you're doing a lot of weapon modifications and building things in your settlements and stuff like that. It's easy to run out of those resources. So we're going to head over there and see what we find. I am here at Merkwater Construction Site. Wilson Automatoys is just a little bit east of this settlement. Not too far from Quincy or Vault 88 if you have the Vault Tech DLC. I don't have a lot of people living here in Merkwater. Just Strong and a few super mutant puppies. So he's kind of like Shrek in the swamp here. I've been to Wilson Automatoys factory several times before. It's the site of many radiant quests and also if you get a quest from Arlen Glass at the slog you'll have to come here. It's full of super mutants. Well I say full. There's not too many of them. I think we'll be able to handle it. Let's see what we can do. Like there's five or six more. So long, well, sister. Come out here so we can go. Scream! Scream for mercy! I'm trying not to hit Hancock. <laughs> I know I can't kill him, but still, I don't want to hit him. There's a guy right up there. Ain't alone. Sure yeah. Run. He's peeking out the window at me. <laughs> the grenade bounced off the railing. <laughs> oh, well, you tried. It says there's a few enemies back here. They're probably inside. Wish a bucket head would show up. I'd rip his legs. Oh, I got the glitch! Sometimes in the respawning locations, the enemies respawn laying down on their faces. I don't know if you've ever had that glitch, but I've had it several times. It's not very fun to kill him like that. Not much of a challenge. There's one more. It must be outside. Laying on his face. Mm, maybe he's on the roof. Oh! But there's a generator. I've already collected the fusion core, so that does not respawn, unfortunately. Everything else does, but not that. 
All right, let's go see what loot we can find in here. Most of the loot you're going to find is in the form of Giddy Up Buttercup parts. Legs, bodies, heads. Oh, there's some glue. Just grab everything yellow. And several full giddy up buttercups. Ooh, there's even a high powered magnet. I don't know if that's always there, but I just did a video about high powered magnets. So there you go. Oh, and he's got the Wilson Automatoys ID card, but I think I've already got one of those. Oh, we'll grab it anyway. And with the card, we can come in here and get even more loot. There's also an ID card right here on the desk, if you want to grab that one instead. Time to collect. And if you come right over here, you can jump up on this, get up on top of the pipe which is probably incredibly slippery in the rain. And then run down here. And you'll find several bags of cement. A lantern. And a steamer trunk with some random stuff in it. And to get back out again, you'll just have to fall through this hole and not break your neck. <coughs> Altogether, we found 35 concrete, a little bit of glue, and 57 gears, 36 screws, and 98 springs, as well as 91 pieces of steel. A little bit of oil and a little bit of silver and a few other things we found in the junk here. But that is a lot of gears, screws, and springs. Oh my gosh, almost 100 springs. Not to mention all of the goodies we'll get when we scrap the super mutant weapons, especially if you have the scrapper perk. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, let me know in the comments. And if you have a location or a junk item that you would like me to make a video about, just let me know. Check out my channel for even more videos like this one, as well as my entire playthrough as Rose the Raider in Fallout 4, Nuka World Raider. Uh, several videos with Fiona here and several videos of Fallout 3 and Fallout Shelter. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye.